So Stuart, uh, a very uh, valuable win today, a uh, very narrow win today, your, your thoughts of the game? I think game? thoughts, uh, sometimes uh, you don't get what you deserve at football matches and I'm sure Stevie will be thinking that today, I thought Dumbarton were like the start of the game alright and then we scored a terrific goal with Kane and then after that we're, we're, we're second best all over the pitch uh, and we know that, we know that I thought they were really good uh, Dumbarton uh, created chance after chance, corners, free kicks, balls in the box and it just I guess you get days where you don't score we've had them ourselves and Steve you'll be feeling aggrieved and, and should be as well that they certainly deserve something in the game today Dumbarton but ultimately you take anything you can get I keep saying that, that any, anything away from home is valuable and to come here and win that's our first defeat uh, and we spoke about it before the game they're a good side a good side when you go near late September you've never been beat then you're doing something right and you can see why uh, we're very fortunate to win the game there's no doubt about that and, and as you said earlier, I mean, the game started kind of different to, to how it panned out. We thought we looked quite bright and obviously, I mean, Kane's goal is, is just something special. Yeah, yeah, well, we've been working at it as well this week about getting Kane behind people uh, with his pace and he's done that and he's, it's a terrific finish from him. He usually blasts him, but uh, for some reason he's, he's dinked the goalie, which is great for us. And it's a super start, but we never built on that. And I, we can say that we didn't do so well, but you, a lot of credit goes to Dumbarton and the way they played and they penned us back in and their energy and their movement was good and we just couldn't get out. Uh, and as I say, you get in at half time, 1 0, and you're hoping you can maybe address it. We made a couple of changes tactically wise as well to see if that can help us. But uh, the part of the play didn't change in the second half again we were on the back foot. Uh, but we did get chances to break where use of ball was wasted and we we'll just never found any passes or any rhythm within the game after that. But as I say, a lot of credit goes to CV and his team. Uh, but ultimately, that we'll go up the road with three points and we'll be delighted with that come Monday morning when you, when you look at the table and things like that. But we know we need to do better. Uh, but we've come up against a, a really good side and been very fortunate to get away with a win. Yeah, I mean, you look at the stats, I think the stats show they had 60% possession, 15 goals. 15, 15 corners, yeah. uh, about 11 shots. I mean, I guess the positives to take away from that is having come under that kind of pressure, okay, we maybe hold our luck a couple of times, but it, it's, a, it's a, stuff te a, a stiff test, sorry, for the yeah. defence. Yeah, I think 15 corners is probably about right. Yeah, I was just trying to say that there, we've probably never been involved in a game where we've conceded so many corners and no conceded a goal. Mm -hmm. And that's credit to the guys as well, the way we're defending, getting our head on things in the box, but we should be trying to stop it before that. But we certainly got pinned back in and, and fair play, but we rode with, as I say, we rode with luck of balls were bouncing, Cam was managing to grab it on another day uh, there in the back of the net and you're, you probably got the road beaten. But uh, as I say, sometimes you've got to ride your luck and we've certainly done that this afternoon. Yeah. So looking ahead, uh, a mm. home match next week and now top of, top of the table class against the Hall. Great, I think uh, we keep saying about this this league and how competitive and how difficult it is to win games and that's two on the trot, so that shows you. Anybody goes and wins two games in the on the spin you're going to jump up the league and, and we've done that so credit to the boys two clean sheets for Cami as well and the defence we thought uh, we got into them a little bit at half time but I thought the two set halves were, were excellent second half mm. and they soak up a lot of pressure against a good side so uh, yeah we'll, we'll get the guys up the road we'll get rested over the weekend uh, but uh, by no means we're not going to uh, think we've come and arrived that's for sure on the back of that so we'll, we'll get back in Tuesday Brian will be working as hard as ever to Port Sandy perfect thank Cheers. you sir.